Well, here's a story that can make you feel good about our future. It involves the accomplishments of three local young entrepreneurs. They were at Bishop McDevitt High School when they came up with an idea that's now making them money and saving lives around the world. Seth Kaplan has their story. In some ways, they had an ordinary high school experience. We had some nefarious friends who would uh, go to the bathroom and, you know, do what they do in the bathroom, you know, smoking like e-cigarettes, vapes, stuff like that. But these three? Lance, Jack, and I, we all started um, a STEM club at our school. STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. They entered a competition. We're given like a budget of $500, um, and we came up with the idea to, you know, create what's called a vape detector. Aesthetically? Probably the worst thing you've ever seen in your life, but uh, it, it worked, which is cool. Um, so we went to that competition, got third place. Pretty good for most people in a statewide competition, not for brothers Lance and Garrison Parthamore and their friend Jack Garissi. They kept working on it. One of them like holding my laptop up and then me maybe holding the sensor up in the ceiling and them like squatting down so we can kind of get like an accurate range for like how high it would be to the ceiling. Um, so we have like some funny videos about that and just a lot of funny memories. And then one very profitable idea. I think it was um, Lance that convinced me. Lance and Jack were in a class together. And Jack challenged me. He said, hey Lance, uh, this, this class is too easy for me. Let, let's, uh, let's make uh, $10,000 before this class ends. They didn't get there, but suddenly a lot more time to focus. March 2020 rolls around. The governor is closing all Pennsylvania schools. We got together in IHOP. The one on Union Deposit Road. Right before everything got shut down. Uh, it was right before we were going to get our books from school to take uh, everything home. So we met up there, devised a plan like, hey, let's start a company. Now they receive it in this packaging, super clean. Triton sensors. Once it detects an event, it sends out a notification uh, to whoever can respond. We're the industry leaders in uh, providing accurate and affordable vape detectors and school safety devices. Just recently we've passed uh, 5,000 sales. In 13 countries around the world. I'd love to say 50 states, um, but yeah, if we're being honest, it's 40 even though not one of them has a college degree. Not because they didn't go or dropped out, but because they're not old enough. 21-year-old Lance is the oldest. I go to Gettysburg College. Uh, I'm graduating in December. They say customers who happen to realize how young they are are sometimes amazed. I think that's an asset for us. Um, I think uh, just because, you know, we're so close to being out of high school and we know exactly what it's like. So I think it gives us a key uh, competitive advantage to stay on the like, cutting edge of things. More of a business success than they ever imagined. Although one thing from their days in the STEM club hasn't changed. The goal for us has always been to help end the vaping epidemic in schools. It just didn't take long to get there. It's like we skipped right to our 30s. In Harrisburg, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.